I've seen a lot of uh, videos on YouTube about applying patches that were already made, but not actually making them. So, first off, I would like to thank 13th Vessel for for showing me and telling me how to do this. Okay, so there are two executables you can use for this. You can either use Crazy Cat's Zero Zero's Patcher or Govanify's. Um, yeah, this is on Crazy Cat's website, um, ISO Patcher. I prefer Govanify, so we're going to use that one. So you go to govanify.com and click Kingdom Hearts 2 Fall Mix Toolkit page. You'll want the developer release because that's how you are going to be able to make patches. And you also need to extract the ISO as well. I'll get, I'll get into that in a moment. So, important thing to note, you will want the toolkit to be in the same location as your Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix ISO. And your ISO also needs to be named just kh2fm.iso. I'm pretty sure it, those all have to be capitalized. Not too sure on that though. So, first things first. Um, in the description, I'll have download links for two batch files, patchmaker.bat and extractor.bat. These will be needed to make the toolkit actually execute commands for extracting the ISO and patching the ISO. Now, first thing we're going to do so we can get files we actually want to patch in is we're going to run the extractor.bat. So, I would suggest downloading now if you haven't already anyway so after that after this shows up and loads you just press enter and then it starts extracting the game this will probably take a while before you do this you will want to make sure you have approximately four gigabytes of free space on your computer because it, it will extract almost everything from this ISO, if not everything. There are a couple of files that, um, that haven't been discovered, like what they are, so they're under a no-name folder. But most things you'll have. Events, models, movesets, a.fms, aka effects, You'll want to extract this from an ISO you actually own if you don't want to do any of that illegal stuff. Wouldn't want to do that, would you? Okay, I'm going to skip to uh, this being finished. Alrighty, so at the end here, it'll have extracted all this. For some reason, warn you that no patches have been loaded. But you can press enter to exit because now you have and extracted Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, you've got this folder called Export, and you'll want to go into the Kingdom Hearts 2 folder. I'm going to show you how to patch in what you want. Um, so if you notice here in the Kingdom Hearts 2 object folder, you've got all these models and movesets and a.fms which is basically like effects and voice clips and all that. Um, you'll want to take note of where this stuff is. So let's say um, okay so we'll use uh, Terra's model as an example which is b underscore ex420 dot mdlx so, because this is located in the object folder, when we make our patch, we're going to have to clarify that path. So, we would type in object slash bex420.mdlx um, Upper or lowercase matters here, there, there's a word for this I'm forgetting. But, um, oh, case sensitive, yeah, it's case sensitive, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind. 
So, now I'm going to show you how to make this patch. We're going to go back to our folder with the batch files. And we're going to load patchmaker.bat. Now, because we want to make a patch with a changed Terra model, for example, um, in the folder where the patcher is located, you'll want to recreate that path to the model. So like, I have uh, an object folder here, and then inside there would be what I want to patch, which is, in this case, a Terra model with a texture mod on it. So, once you have that path created, same, same name, case sensitive, all that, and you have your your patcher loaded. Sorry, patch maker. Uh, press press enter there. And then it'll ask you a few stuff. Uh, you know, and can enter your name, revision number, and this other stuff there. You you can decide whether or not you want to put stuff there. So then, our file name, since we're patching Terra in, is object bex 420mblx like we have here. Now, relink to this file name, you don't really need to do this. In fact, you probably should just skip over this. Compress this file, yes. We don't want everything t-stancing from uncompressed stuff. Should this file be added if it's not in the game, no. We don't want to add extra stuff to the ISO. Unless you're a really good expert at this. But let's let's start slow, shall we? So then it'll ask you for another file name. And if you don't want to add any more, you can press enter. And it'll tell give you some stats and then your patch will be created. Press enter to exit. And we have a new file here called output.kh2patch. And now, what you want to do to patch this into the game, just drag it onto the toolkit, executable. Yeah, I don't care, run it. So, if successful, it'll say that it's loaded that patch. And then if we press enter, it will patch it into the game. But before we do that, I'm going to show you a quicker method of... Um, making a patch, so we'll delete that. Activate our patch maker again. So, it would obviously be very annoying if you had to just enter the file names that slow and go through all those steps. What you can actually do is um, make a text document formatted like this where you have your file name, a space, aka you pressed enter, go go down press enter again and then you have you know do you want to compress this file yes or no then this is blank again and then should it be added if it's not in the MDLX and then you can just do this over and over again and you'll patch multiple things into the game so I'll I'll copy uh, a bunch of stuff to show you and then we'll paste that in after entering all this previous information. And there we go. Now we're patching in a lot more stuff. And there we go. Now we have a 4.75 megabyte patch. Nice. We did all that. Alright, so now drag this onto the toolkit and we'll go ahead and make a patch. And it'll do all that patching stuff. Let me make sure I have enough free space. Uh, we're. I, th I think we do. I hope we do. Yeah, just barely. Alright, cool. So, now we have our new Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix ISO, so we have successfully made a patch with stuff in it. 
now let's test it to make sure it works. Okay, so you're gonna open PCSX2, go to your ISO selector, and browse to uh, your new Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix ISO, because we want it to run the patched one. Then you boot it, as you normally would. I'll go ahead and load up MU Haste as well. You don't actually need MU Haste loaded, but, um... You know, I still want to input my codes and all. Okay. Also, when you make a patch, and you're, like, running a patched ISO, do not load save states from ISOs that are, um... Save states that were made when the ISO was unpatched, because you will crash, like, during a room transition. If not before that. So, I guess... Yeah. yeah, okay, so we patched in a Terra texture mod, so... We'll make sure that works. I'll go ahead and load Terra. Hope the game doesn't crash. Alright, well... That worked. So, we have successfully made a patch. Yeah! 